Now, this is a very simple and straightforward question. You just have to identify the appliance and know what its use is. So, what do we see in this appliance? We see that there is a palletal screw which is present. Okay, we can identify it as a hyrax screw. And second important thing we notice that the shape of the arch. So, it's a V-shaped arch. Okay, here we can appreciate this is a V-shaped arch. Now, whenever a palletal screw is given in an appliance, the most important thing to note is the direction of the screw. Why? I will explain. So, here we see that the arrows are pointing towards the soft pallet. So, when we open up the screw in this direction, the arms move this way, bringing about expansion of the arch. So, this is a maxillary arch expansion appliance. Now, why I ask you to keep the direction of the screw in mind is because sometimes they can give you a palletal screw which is used in different appliances in a different way. So, let us have a look at some of the appliances. So, this is actually a Pendex appliance. Okay, this is a Pendex appliance. And here it is actually used primarily for molar distalization along with some amount of expansion. So how do we identify this is whenever a molar distalization appliance is given, you will see a large acrylic button or a palletal button seen on the pallet along with the expansion screw. So this is because molar, dis molar is a very uh, hard tooth to move, a lot of anchorage is required. So this kind of uh, palletal uh, plate is always given to enhance anchorage in these devices. So here you can see that the direction of the screw is similar to what we saw in the previous image. That is, it is also uh, pointing towards the soft palate. So, we know this is also going to bring about expansion along with the molar distalization. However, if you see in this appliance, which is used for molar distalization, the direction of the screw is towards the tooth, not towards the palate. So, when you open up the screw in this direction, it actually brings about vertical movement like this on the palate that actually causes separation of these teeth and molar distalization. That is why the direction of the screw is very important. Now, sometimes they can also give a habit breaking appliance along with a maxillary expander. So, this is just something that you need to note that this is also a kind of appliance that can be given because in image based questions which are asked very frequently in the examination, any kind of image can be given of any appliance and you can be either asked to identify it or you can be asked the use of such an appliance.